Monday, October 19th, 2020. I am going over tonight's homework. I said if you watch my YouTube video, I will do a lot of it with you so you won't have to do it all on your own. So here we go. Remember, today's learning target was I can multiply using repeated addition. So we're doing two things. We are relating addition to multiplication. How are they related? They're different, but they're also very much alike. And that's what we were working on today in our Go Math. So here is the homework page. Practice and homework lesson 3.2. We are on page 149. And then we're going to do the back page 150. So we're going to start on page 149. Now, at the top, there it says, relate addition and multiplication. So, number one, they did for you. It says, draw a quick picture to show the equal groups. Then write related addition and multiplication sentences. So, if I zoom out here a little bit, here you can see the uh, equal groups as a model, as a picture. Over to the right, you see three groups, five in each group. So they went back and they showed you as a related addition sentence, you would write five plus five plus five equals 15. And then if we change it to multiplication, it's three times five, which is also 15. So we're gonna do that again. Let's go down to number three, because remember, I'm gonna do some of them, but not number three with you. So number three says five groups of two. So over here to the right, I'm going to make my five circles. One, two, three, four, move that over a little bit, five. And it said five groups of two. So we're going to put two circles in each group. circles and obviously I can use repeated addition I can even skip count by two and I can write a multiplication equation to go along with that model so that's what we're gonna do so now we're gonna just fill it in 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 gives me what 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 more is 6 plus 2 more is 8 plus two more is 10. All right, and then now we can make that model or that picture that we made over to the right as a multiplication equation. And we can also base it on the uh, repeated addition that we just did. We have five groups of two. So that's five times two. Our answer is still 10, okay. So you're gonna do number two on your own. Now, look at four and five. Four and five says complete and write a multiplication sentence. So let's do number four together. I have seven plus seven plus seven. You're adding it three times. When you add seven three times, what do you think you get? Is 21. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 7 more added to 14 gives me 21. As a multiplication equation, that is 3 groups of 7, which is still 21. So 3 times 7 is 21. All right, you will do number 5 on your own. Now let's go down to the bottom where it says problem solving. Let's see, which one does Ms. Harley want to do? Six. It says there are six jars of pickles in a box. Ed has three boxes of pickles. How many jars of pickles does he have? Write a multiplication sentence to find the answer. Now, again, you could draw a picture as well to help you, but you have the two numbers here. There's six jars in a box. Ed has three boxes. So it's just like imagining box one, box two, box three, and there's six jars in each 
box. So we know what we have to multiply. There are three boxes. There are six jars in each box. So three times six equals 18. There's your answer for number six. You will do number seven on your own. At the bottom, I always do the writing. Remember I said that. Whenever there's a pencil on your math homework and it asks you to write something down, I always do this one with you. So it says, write a word problem that involves combining three equal groups. So again, I'm gonna use my name. You can use my name, your name, someone else's name, whatever you wanna do and we're gonna make up a word problem. Sonia has three of candy because they want me to make three equal groups as part of my word problem. So that's what I did so far. So please copy that, I'll wait a few seconds. Again, you can use my name, your name, someone else's name, whatever you want to do. Sonia has three bags of candy. So those are my three equal groups. I'm not done because I have to put another problem, or excuse me, another number in this word problem, and then I will solve it. So if I have three bags of candy, boys and girls, I'm going to add to that and say each... here now if you didn't get everything I said remember pause the video so you can copy it down and then hit play again when you're ready each bag has we'll just say that all right, I'll stop there for a second. Please copy. Each bag has four pieces of candy in it. So every bag has four pieces of candy in it. So then, of course, my last part will be the question. How many, and I'll move it over, total pieces Does have question mark. All right, I'm going to zoom out so you guys can copy. Sonia has three bags of candy. Each bag has four pieces of candy in it. How many total pieces? does Sonia have? Now, I could have said total pieces of candy, but I just tried to keep it short. Again, pause the video if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and show the answer. So, after copying that, you should have three bags times four pieces in each bag will give me a total of what? Think of four plus four plus four. Four. There's your repeated addition. Four plus four is eight, plus four more is 12. So I have 12 pieces of candy total. Please copy. I'll zoom out again and I'll hold it there for about five seconds and then I'm going to move on. Pause the video if you need to, boys and girls, but I'm going to move on because I try to keep these videos short. So on the back of your homework, we are now on page 150. I'm going to do a few of these, and then the rest is for you. I am not going to do number one, and I am not going to do number two. When you do number one, it says, what is another way to show this? They're asking, how would you write that? as a multiplication sentence. So see if you can figure that out. All right, and I'm not doing two. Let's do number three. A school gave 884 pencils to students on the first day of school. What is 884 rounded to the nearest hundred? 884, I'm looking at the eight in the tens place 
to see what to do to the eight in the hundreds place. Eight is a high number, so I have to round up to the next hundred, so my answer is 900. All right, number four I'm not doing, you just have to subtract. It says find the difference, so just subtract. I am gonna do number five, because number five we have not talked Five boys and girls is showing a um, line plot, and we haven't talked about line plots, so I need to talk to you about this. It says the line plot below shows how many points Trevor scored in 20 games. So here's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and it shows how many points. The X's show how many points he scored in those games. Here is the question. It says, or excuse me, the numbers are how many points he scored. So he scored 15 points three times. He scored 16 points two times. He scored 17 points five times and so on, okay? Here is the question. How many games did Trevor score 18 points or fewer? This is the key words. What games did he score 18 points or fewer? Okay. So we need to go from here back down to 15 points. So you should only be looking at these X's. Because if you look at 19 and 20, those are times when he scored 19 and 20 points. We want to find all the times 18 points and lower. Fewer means smaller. So all these X's have to be counted. So let's count them and see if what we come up with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. The answer, boys and girls, is 13. There were 13 games that he played where he either got 18 points or less than that. Some games he only scored 17 points. Some games he only scored 16 points, and some games he only scored 15 points. When you add how many times he did those points, it was 13 times, so 13 games. All right, I'm not doing number six. You will do that one on your own. So I did quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit with you, excuse me. Um, I'm at the 12-minute mark, so I want to stop. So the rest is for you to do. I'm sure you won't have a problem. We will go over it tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow on Tuesday. Bye for now.